and welcome back. Sports Minister Olivia Grange says that the government chose to prioritize developing youth cricket and improve the game at the grassroots level instead of bidding to be one of the host countries for the ICC T20 World Cup, which will be jointly hosted by the West Indies and the USA in the summer of 2024. Jerome Foster reports. Two months after the ICC decided on the seven territories from the Caribbean that will co-host next year's T20 World Cup with the United States, Sports Minister Olivia Grange on September 6 outlined that Jamaica was still in negotiations with Cricket West Indies to put in a bid for the marquee tournament. On September 22, when venues were announced for the 2024 ICC T20 Cricket World Cup, the largest cricket playing population in the region was not on the list. But that was no surprise to many local stakeholders who believe the move could be crippling for the sport locally. In April 2018, Sports Minister Olivia Grange made a pledge that Jamaica will be focused on bringing major international sporting events to the local shores following the return of athletes from the Commonwealth Games. Five years on, the biggest of them all was turned down after doing the cost-benefit analysis with consultants according to the minister. But when were these analyses done? As the Minister of Information said this on September 6th, when the bids were already finalized by the ICC. Why did Jamaica not bid on the cricket um, World Cup, the T20 World Cup? Um, we, didn't, we didn't bid? There was a bid? Yes. I was not here. Where I was that? Surely, surely it was discussed at Cabinet. Well, I'm, I think that the Minister of Culture would be the best person to answer. Um, when is cricket World Cup? 2024. Oh, okay. In Saturday evening's press release, Minister Grange said the bid was worth upwards of 450 million Jamaican dollars. And at the end of consultations, it was better to invest 100 million Jamaican dollars across five years to develop youth cricket and improve the game at the grassroots level. An interesting take. What will happen to the plant at Sabina Park? Because if we don't have international cricket, then the park is going to degenerate and, and it, it is rapidly becoming a facility that is, if it is not now, very soon will not be a plant that can um, host any, any international games, right? Right now we don't have a scoreboard. Um, certainly the bathrooms, etc., etc., and the stands need an upgrade. And how do we do it if we don't have one governmental backing international cricket, I mean, to drive a product? It means cricket lovers will have to find their best spots on their couches or book flights to watch a tournament. So if government inject any money into this World Cup um, with expectation, of getting it back. No, no, they're not going to get it back. So I'm in total support with government. I love cricket. Yes, I love cricket. But I'm in total support with that. If you want to watch it in the other islands or you want to go to the US and watch it, so be it. But I'm in total support of what government have done. We have um, previous World Cup, which is um, we have T20 World Cup. And we do have no any World Cup here in Jamaica. And then no, for this time to not have a World Cup. It's a very disappointing time. So we need for, um, the question is asked, why is it that um, as a country, as a nation, Sabine Park is being there and we don't have no World Cup? So we need questions need to be asked and we need answers. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.